Hi there YouTubers and 3D Studio Max lovers. In today's episode we're going to talk about PBR materials and we are going to create a leather material as you can see in this scene. I'm going to show you how to create all the textures that you need to create the leather material. As you can see you need a diffuse map, you need a roughness map and a normal map which is a bump. And I'm also going to show you how to create all this map. So we're going to use a software that is called Shader Map which is a free software and with this software we are going to generate all the textures that we need for this project. For the ones that are uh, following me on my Patreon, they can download the scene from my Patreon, it's for free, and also the texture so they can see exactly how I did it. So let's dive into it. For the lesson of today, uh, we're going to use some textures from a very nice website that it's called Sorensen. Leather. So let's go to the website. As you can see, it's this website. I'm gonna go to 3D download. You need to create uh, an account here so you can download the high resolution images. I'm gonna go by colors and I'm gonna pick up brown because I wanna choose brown. So in these lessons we're gonna use this texture which is called Ultra Brandy. As you can see it looks very nice and to download the texture you need to register and log in. I already did all of that. So for the second part we're gonna use the shader mod to generate all the textures that we need. You can go to their website. They have a free uh, license, so you can download the program from here. And uh, if you want the pro version, you can also make an account and you can buy the uh, pro version. They also have here tutorials in case you, uh, you want to dive in more and to learn more about this program. Uh, this is quite very nice, uh, you're gonna learn, uh, learn a lot of things from, uh, from their website. For this uh, project I used one of the scenes that I'm always using with a white background. The 3D model that I'm using today is from uh, Baltrona Frau. You can download this from their website, you need to go to products, sitting, and uh, this is uh, the model that we're going to use. It's called Jean-Marie Mosso. Yeah, so it's this one here, so this is a 3D model that we're going to use. And and you can and if you go to professionals you can also download the 3d model from here only it's a 3ds you just click 3ds and save the 3d model wherever you you need so yeah as you can see I already made a scene with all of that and now let's create the textures in the shader map material so what I'm going to do as you can see I'm gonna create a new I'm not gonna save anything I'm just gonna click on the open source file. I'm gonna click on the textures that we'd already downloaded from their website. The textures is gonna load. Then the program is gonna start rendering the textures in different bitmaps. So he's going to create the diffuse map, which is exactly the same map. Then the second one that he's going to create it, which is this is the normal map as you can see it's creating by default the normal map then he's creating a displacement map from the diffuse image and then the peculiar map that you can also use it as a roughness map so if i click on this as you can see this is the specular map and he's also creating ambient occlusion map uh, but we're i don't know if we're going to use this probably not but this is very good to have in general to create extra details in your map uh, so let's start so we just have our main map the diffuse map and now if you go here and click on this eye show material in the visualize uh, we have the material as you can see right now it's looking like this doesn't have too many reflection it's quite bumpy if you zoom in we don't want that because it's a little bit too much so i'm just gonna go here and i on the intensity i'm just gonna move the intensity around here now it's uh, generating again a normal map for for me which is like this and now if i go here now it's looking better i like what i'm seeing the bump is not that high so i can see some reflection it's looking like uh, like a leather material already so i'm going to 
the displacement map we're not really going to use this for now uh, the roughness uh, let's see the roughness mm, it's already looking good i could say you can make it if you move the brightness more it's gonna be more reflective so we're gonna see more as you can see and if you go more to the left side it's gonna get less reflective this is a specular map but you can also use it as a roughness map by inverting the image into 3 studio max i'm gonna show you exactly how we can do that so for now i'm just gonna leave it here i'm already very happy with all with everything and now everything that you need to do is to push this button and to save the image so you just need to go one by one. Oh yeah if you go here you can save all the uh, maps uh, by one doing one click or you can save them one by one okay now after i saved the, my uh, my textures i'm just gonna import all of them into my to my material so what i'm i'm already made these materials uh, but i'm gonna redo everything from uh, from scratch okay so now let's create uh, our uh, leather material I'm going to do I'm gonna bring a corona physical material from here I'm just gonna add it here and then to this material I'm gonna use a metalness of non-metal so this is a non-metal material and then on the base layer on the level one on the color which is a gray color right now I'm gonna add my uh, diffuse map so all the time your color is your diffuse map so I'm just gonna go here Actually, I'm just gonna drag my uh, uh, bitmap because I already have it in here with shift and click. I'm gonna add it here. It's exactly the same. And then I'm gonna connect this uh, texture into my base color, which in this case is, as I said, my uh, diffuse, which is the color in the base layer, yeah? So now I have my, uh, uh, my material in here. I'm gonna apply this to my uh, object so I can see what's happening, okay? so. This is my diffuse color. Now I need to add some reflection. And how I'm gonna do that, it's very easy. I'm just gonna copy this and then I'm click on it and I'm gonna load a different texture, which is in this case, my specular. And I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add this to my roughness, as you can see here. I'm gonna add it in here, instance. And as you can see, it's already working. The problem is, uh, the image is very dark and if you could work with roughness so in my program what I did I created this texture here which is a specular image it's a specular image so it's not a roughness image because this program is working with specular so to do that to use specular you need to click on your uh, material on the main material and you need to go here Oh, I think it's on the advanced options and on the roughness mode you don't use roughness you click on glossiness and now it's gonna look more or less like the glossiness that we had in the program so if I'm going up yeah it doesn't matter what I'm using here because right now uh, he's not using the glossiness from here he's using the texture so if I delete this connection now he's using the glossiness from here so I can go 0 0.6 for example and I create my own uh, glossiness but this is a glossiness that is going on all the material everywhere, which this one is going, and this one is going in some parts of the material. As you can see, uh, my uh, specular in this case, uh, not showing any reflection. So how can I fix that? That's very easy. I'm going here and between my main image and my material, I'm adding here another node and I'm gonna add a, a Corona color correct in here. And now with the brightness here, I can change my, uh, my specular. So this image is gonna become lighter. So if I'm using 0.5, for example, it's already lighter. One, it's already lighter. One is maximum that I can use in here. Unfortunately, I could add some more if I want to by changing the exposure. It's going to be much brighter, but I can check all of this directly in the material. So to be sure that I'm doing the correct thing, it's I already started my uh, Corona render my interactive. So I can go one here. This is too much. I'm gonna go zero here, two, three, yeah, maybe this is a little bit too much. Okay, I'm gonna leave this to, to one and I'm gonna use this one, make it also one. And then I'm gonna put here 0.5, maybe 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0
0 and I'm gonna check a uh, different uh, maybe 0.2 something to make it a little bit more reflective okay this is this could work okay mm, what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna add the normal map so I'm just gonna click on this with shift clicked and left mouse button I'm just gonna make a copy of this I'm gonna change this to the corona normal map that I already made I'm gonna use this one and these images the uh, the normal maps they only need a corona normal node so I'm gonna connect this and this is gonna go to my bump so the bump I'm just gonna click on this so I can show you exactly where the bump is as you can see the bump is here so this is going here in the bump instance okay so this is the base bump uh, it's showing that my bump is not working very well as you can see right here so I need to ga add gamma to input and leave this to one and uh, let's see how is the material looking yeah as you can see after I added the bump the material has changed a little bit it's not that reflective as before so I'm gonna show you again because I can go here and can just go here the bottom part and I can take the base bump out you can see this is the material without the bump and this is the material with the bump if I want to change the strength of the bump I'm just going in here and here I can change just change the strength so I can make it stronger by putting five now it's very very bumpy but you lose the reflection because the pro is getting very bump or I can go 0.5 and it's getting more reflective because now the bump is smaller so I can see more of the reflection and this is the way I created the leather material uh, these two materials are not quite the same because here I changed the color a little bit to make it more red uh, but I can do that very easy as you can see I added a corona color correct in between this and this so in between the map and the and the material so how I can do that I can go here and I can add the corona color correct and I can change this image to have it a little bit more red so this means that I need to go with the hue of the color I don't know 5 is getting more yellow minus 5 no minus 5 is getting more red minus 10 mm, yeah minus 5 maybe it's closer this material is a little bit more reflective but I can always change that through my uh, uh, corona color correct so I can just change my image uh, my specular image and make it a little bit more brighter so if I use 0.5 here I think it's almost the same for me it looks the same so yeah this is the correct color so right now I have exactly the same material as in the beginning so let's see a close-up of the material also as you can see here the bump and also here I think the material looks uh, quite uh, very nice I like it okay so that was it in case you like the video please don't forget to subscribe this helps my channel and uh, also hit that bell button I'm gonna try to post uh, almost every week uh, one uh, video so it's gonna be just a short video introduction about materials or all kind of things and uh, see you in the next one bye